been building websites on Framer, but you want to add a powerful form to your website. Well, we're going to show you how to add job form to Framer. So follow me to my desktop right now. Hey, what's up everyone? My name is George and on this video, I'm going to show you how to add your job form into your Framer website. It's going to be super easy. All you have to do is follow my steps. All right. So on this video, I'm going to build a basic form that we're going to use to add it to Framer. All right. So let's get started by building this form. Let's go into create a form. And in this option, we can start from scratch or use a template. There's thousands of templates available that will work with Framer. All you have to do is select one of these, test them out. And if you like how they work and you want to customize it, just go ahead and use the template and it will open up the job form builder where you can customize it. All right. Now check these out. Link we provided in the description. Okay. So we're going to do start from scratch. Okay. And we have two options. We can use classic form or card form. In this case, let's use card form. That means that it's a step-by-step -step form that looks really good. All right. So on the left, we have our elements and we want to add the basic elements for our contact form that we want to use on framer. Okay. So let's ask for the full name address, phone number, and the email. Okay. We're going to keep it really basic, but there's several elements available that we can use right here. Okay. Several type of questions, several type of survey elements. There's also payment gateways in case we want to ask for a payment on this particular form. We can also add a card to sell products and all that stuff, right? There's also widgets for this. Okay. Now, after you've built your form, we have options available for the form designer. You can change the look and style of your form. For example, in this case, I can select a different color style and it'll automatically update the whole layout. Or I can add an image, I can add a video to this, and I can also change the layout. In case I change my mind and I don't want to use the card form, I can change it to a classic form by just selecting this right here. So it's just super easy and practical to use job form, right? Now, what we want to do to add job form to Framer is let's head on over to Framer. In Framer, let's go ahead and open up our website builder here. And I have a basic template added here. So it's just a basic landing page, which we're going to add our form. Okay. So let me go ahead and drag this to the top. Here it is. And on the left, we have insert. We're going to click on insert and there's several elements available here. You can select pages, sections, navigation. But in this case, what we want to do to add our job form form is that we want to click on utilities and we want to add the embed options. So you can go ahead and drag it inside your website wherever you want to locate it. And in this case, I'll just locate it here for testing purposes. Okay. And it adds this section. Now, what we need to do is grab our job form URL that we're going to paste right here. Okay. So let's go into job form. We're going to go into publish. We're going to go into platforms and in platforms, we're going to search for framer. Okay. Now this is one way to do it, or you can just copy the link from the beginning. Okay. But in this case, we're going to grab this one just to make sure that we're using the correct one. And in case the steps change, you will view them right here. Okay. Let's go ahead and copy this code. Let's go into Framer and let's go ahead and paste the URL. Let's click outside and this should be updating here. And here it is. Now we have our card form available here. Now, once you add it here, you have several available options. We can go ahead and make this bigger and you can see that it automatically adjusts because job form will provide that feature for you even on Framer. Okay. There's also options available to drag it to different sections. So let's just say that we change our mind and we don't want it here in the buff. We want to change it afterwards here. Well, you can just drag it really easily. And on this element, there's options on the right. Okay. You got positions to change it here. You can make it sticky. You can make it absolute or relative. You can change the size here. You can also add effects here to hover, press, loop, etc. There's cursor, there's style, and there's a lot of things that we can do here on Framer for this particular element. Okay. And once you like it the way it is, we are going to preview this first by clicking on the play button, scroll down here. And here we have our form. All right, here we go. Everything's fine. Let's just say that it's in the right section. Everything's correct. We are good to go. So what we want to do is head on out of here. And now we're going to publish. Once we publish this, it's going to be live, right? So in this case, we're going to use this domain right now. We haven't added a custom domain, but now this is live. Okay, so let's go down here and we have our form. Let's go ahead and fill it out right now for testing purposes. And I'll add my name, George Aguilar. Let's go next and I'll just say test test. So I'll just fill out everything with test and some numbers there. Let's go next phone number. Hit next and the email. I'll say test at test.com. 
Here we go. Let's go ahead and submit this. And now it's been submitted. Remember, this is on a live website with a live form from job form, right? So let's go into job form to preview this submission right now. So currently there's several ways that you can view your submissions in job form tables, okay? So if you're in the job form builder, we can view job form tables by clicking on this top menu and we can click on tables. And we're gonna be able to view all the submissions available right here, all right? So in this case, we just filled this out and here's the information submission date, the name, the address, the phone number, the email. And as soon as more people fill this form out, we're going to view every single one of these submissions available right here really easily on job form tables. Now, if you want to change the view of how the submissions look, that is possible in job form tables. So if you click on a new tab, there's different ways of viewing the submissions. You can create another table based on other element elements that you can view. Maybe you want to only view a few elements from the submissions. You can do so by creating a new table. You can create a calendar view. You can create a card style. And in card style, you can add, for example, images and different elements of that form that has been filled out. And it's just really practical. There's uploads and there's reports for this too. All of these will be available here in the tabs when you add them. So it's a really practical way. Now I showed you how you can view your job form table from the builder area, but there's also the dashboard view to job form, all right? So if you're in the dashboard here, you can select the form that we've just created right now, for example, click on more, and then more, we're gonna click on submissions. And that will take you directly to job form tables too, to view the submission. So it's a really practical way to add your job form to Framer. You could see on this video how easy it was to add an embed element and add our form really easily by just adding the URL to that form here on Framer. So if you're building websites on Framer and you want to have a powerful form on your website, this is a great option. So definitely test it out for yourself and let us know what you think about it. Please let us know here in the comments what you think about this integration with Job Form and Framer and what you would like to see in the future. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that little bell notification to get notified when new videos come out. And that's a wrap.